Lila, what are you doing up this late? It's past your bedtime. I've been working on a science project, Dad. Behold the ball of fear. Stare directly into here and it will force you to reveal your biggest fear. Really? Oh, okay. Let me try. My biggest fear is disappointing my lovely wife. You have to be looking directly at the sphere, Shemshi. Okay, okay. Hmm. My biggest fear is waking up and finding that I had a sex change. That would definitely disappoint me. Mum, you want to try? Sure, why not? Hmm. My biggest fear is my house catching fire while I'm naked. Mum, that's happened to you like three times. And it's still equally as traumatising each time. What's your biggest fear, Lila? My biggest fear is that this won't work. Well, it seems to be working okay right now. True, but you're not my target audience. I want to try this on my enemy, Sasha. Lila, don't do that. It's okay to use it on us, we're family. But it's wrong to use something this personal on an enemy. Who's that howling this late at night? I don't know, but your mum and I are going to find out. We're not going to be able to sleep until he shuts up. The only two wolves on this street are Arctic and Wolfred. Technically, I'm a wolf that lives on that street as well, but Sam forgot to add me to the script, so I took a vacation. Shemshi, let's split up. You go to Arctic's and I'll go to Wolfred's. Let's put a stop to this nonsense. No, Shemshi. It wasn't me doing the howling. I'm a law-abiding wolf. I respect and even enforce noise ordinances. I tell you the tale of a howling wolf, not the one singing this song. He bugs me too, so if you thought it was me, well my friend I must say you were wrong. Gather around everyone! Stare directly into this ball here, and it will force you to reveal your biggest fear. My biggest fear is turning into a tortoise. My biggest fear is spiders. My biggest fear is waking up at night and having a two-headed snake beside me. Sasha, aren't you going to give it a go? I do not see what is so fascinating about that sphere. I refuse to stare directly into it. What's the matter, Sasha? Are you chicken? Or is your biggest fear the ball? Sasha's scared of a ball. Sasha's scared of a ball. Is it, sweetie? Well, Mum, I took a ball to school today. Oh no. Lila, you didn't make that Sasha girl look at it, did you? I told you not to do that. It's not nice. I know, Mum, but... You did. I did, but, well, Mum, Sasha said her biggest fear was her mum. Rachel? But Rachel's a nice lioness. Sasha's an independent cub. That's why she lives alone. But, Mum, the ball doesn't lie. It didn't lie about you, it didn't lie about me, it didn't lie about Dad. I'm actually worried for Sasha. Do you think Rachel abuses her? It's that stupid howling again. Go to your room, Lila, you're grounded. We'll finish this conversation later. It's coming from this way, it has to be Arctic. Psst! Shady! Inside! Now! Lenny? Why are you in Rachel's house? Shady, don't you hear that? It's a werewolf on the loose! A werewolf? Yes! And this is coming from a lion who doesn't think that cheetahs exist. Shady, it is a werewolf. My dad and Wolford are the only wolves in this town and they don't howl. Vacation's all I ever wanted. And look, the full moon's out and... And also, 
Well, I see him. He's out there on the street. Oh my god! Did he see me? I don't think so. It must be a lion werewolf. They have bad vision. At least it's not a tiger werewolf. Those are the aggressive ones. Oh heavens. We need to warn Rachel. Or did she let you in? No, I was out on the street. This was just the best place to hide. We should let her know that we're here. She won't appreciate us breaking in. Fairy, we're hiding from a werewolf. I think she'd understand. After all, this is one of the only safe houses on the street. Rachel's a mother, and mothers can't be werewolves. Imagine how frightened their children would be. Lenny? Um, Sasha is scared of Rachel. So, Rachel is the werewolf? No, she can't be. Why wouldn't she tell us? Because lion werewolves aren't that dangerous. They only attack you if you're in their territory. Lenny and Sherry didn't get bit that night, but they both did learn a valuable lesson. Whenever the moon is full, Never enter a stranger's house unless you know for sure that they are not a werewolf.